Sunshine City, famous winter mecca for thousands of tourists who seek refuge here from the frozen north. But we won't keep you up in the air long because this is a film about baseball, one of the most unusual baseball films you'll probably ever see. Located in the heart of the city is the famous Al Lang Field, where every winter great names in baseball appear to limber up their muscles in spring training. This modern stadium was recently dedicated to Al Lang, St. Petersburg's ambassador to the baseball world. This film will show you many of the great baseball players in action. In this first game dedicating the stadium, we'll see the New York Yankees. They're all there in the dugout, Joe DiMaggio, Charlie King Kong Keller, Spud Chandler, along with the rest of the players who make this Yankee team so great. The Yankees are going to play the St. Louis Cardinals. They're all here for this great exhibition game. Genial Bill Davenport, manager of the Chamber of Commerce, is master of ceremonies for the dedication. And here's Al Lang, the man who years ago brought big league baseball to St. Petersburg. Al is greeting Honus Wagner, one of baseball's immortals and one of the many celebrities to pay tribute to Mr. Lang on this occasion. Other baseball greats include Happy Chandler, Will Harridge, Ford Frick, and here's Grantlin Rice, Dean of American Sports Writers. Now Sam Breeden, former owner of the world champion St. Louis Cardinals, adds his bet. Time to warm up for the big game now. Here's Bud Chandler of the Yankees. This is Al Shack, the clown prince of baseball. Al was a big league star for many years, but today specializes in creating comedy on the diamond. Hey, fellas, what are we going to do about this guy, Shaq? He can't play on the team. It isn't legal. Well, Al doesn't seem to care whether it's legal or not. He has third base well covered. Of course, he's doing it the hard way. Uh-oh, little too much steam on that one. Al takes off his coat and gets down to some serious clowning. Oh, boy, that hurt. Okay, you want to play, huh? I'm ready. Here we go. Hey, hey, what happened? I've gone stone blind. <laughs> it looks as though Al means business. It's a sense you'll never hurt his hand with this glove. The atomic age catcher's mitt, that's what Al calls it. Hey, is that man with glove or glove with man? Poor Al, he went down for the count. The umpire yells, play ball, and here are some of the action highlights of this exhibition game. Snuffy Sternweiss is up for the Yankees. There's the pitch at strike one. Two more strikes and Snuffy's retired. Ken Silvestri up now. He connects. The throw to first is in time. Joe Medwick, former Yankees up. Strike one. Foul for strike two. There's a pop fly. Joe Garagiola goes after it. Back, back, and has it for the out. The Cardinals come in now, and the Yankees take the field. Buster Adams is up for the Cardinals. Tom Byrne on the mound for the Yanks. He delivers. Adams connects. The throw to first is in time. There's the next pitch. And Barra connects. A one-bagger. Now here comes the next pitch. Dick Sizzler hits the ball. It goes out of the park. And Sizzler rounds the bases for a home run. Eight or more big league teams appear in Al Lang Field every spring, including this team, the Phillies, from the city of brotherly love. The fans really enjoy these preview games. They're seeing the best in action. Now, highlights of another game played in the sunshine. The New York Yankees again. This time, their opponents will be the scrappy Detroit Tigers. The Detroit coaches confer on first base. The umpire yells, play ball. Detroit is up first. Dick Wakefield leads off. Bill Lyons on the mound for the Yanks. There's the pitch. And Wakefield connects for a hit. He rounds first. And slides into second just in time. Seymour 
are up now for Detroit. There's the pitch he connects for a beautiful home run, driving in Wakefield before him. Lyons delivers. Howard Newhouser hits a pop fly. Aaron Robinson, the Yankee catcher, goes back for it and has it for the out. Detroit takes the field now. Newhouser pitching. Bill Johnson holding the hickory for the Yanks. That's strike two for Johnson. Johnson connects for a two-bagger. The ball is fumbled in the outfield. The throw to second, too late. Snuffy Sternweiss at bat now. There's a call strike. Here comes the next pitch. Andy clouts out one, a two-bagger, bringing in Johnson for the run. team we see in action is the Boston Red Sox in a game against the Cards. Here's Bo Ferris warming up for the Bo Sox. He has to pitch against those St. Louis Cardinals in this game. Don DiMaggio is preparing to hit the home run of the day as he picks his favorite bat. Big league managers have selected St. Petersburg as the training site for their teams because here they find sunshine in abundance at any time of the year. The umpire yells play ball. Boston is in the field. Bo Ferris pitching. Enos Slaughter up for the cards. He lets one go by. The next pitch, he connects for a hit, a one-bagger. Sizzler steps up and smacks one, and the game is really underway. The throw to first is in time. Here's the next pitch. Garagiola's up. He smacks out one just over third base, driving Sizzler home and putting Garagiola on second. Boston's turn at bat. Johnny Pesky is up for the Crimson Hose. He lets one go by. Takes a try at another one, misses. Lets another one go by. He smacks at one he likes and he connects. Better hold up at first, Johnny boy. I don't think you can stretch this one. Next Boston player up now. He smacks out a line drive to the infield. The throw to first is in time. Now another Boston player. Here's the pitch, and he decides to bunt it, and it gets him on first. Ted Williams, Mr. Baseball himself, is up now. There goes the ball over the right field wall, bringing in three runs for Boston. Whitey Lewis, sports editor of the Cleveland Press, drop out to visit some friends. Yes, the famous names in baseball enjoy their spring training as they limber up their muscles in St. Petersburg sunshine. Instead of fighting old man winter as most of us did last year, they can forget the ice and snow and concentrate on winning the pennant. Whether you're a big league baseball player or just a fan who likes to watch the big boys in action, you'll find that a cordial welcome awaits you when you come to St. Petersburg. There are many pastimes and sports activities in this vacation spot of the South. So why endure the rigors of a northern winter? When winter's around, make sure that you're in St. Petersburg, Florida, the friendly sunshine city. Winter playground for all Americans. 